Hey guys, uh, Saturday morning here, August 15th or so, I think. Uh, uh, I just got an order in from uh, my very first order from Empire Wax at Alchemy. I, uh, I have that sitting here. And Blackjack says hello. Uh, some of you were picking on me uh, about the southbound order. I didn't show everything in pictures. So I have that sitting here in front of me. So we'll get started and show you that real quick. And then we'll jump into the Empire uh, order. And be honest with you, I don't even remember what I all ordered. But I'm thinking it's mostly fall. So uh, dive right here into it. Uh, this was... Uh, from southbound, this was the the free sample uh, mango lassie pop tail. Yeah, that's it almost like a, for me, it smells like a mango and peach combo. We'll give it a shot. I've been working on trying to get a lot of my uh, spring and summer melts used up. But even though uh, I really couldn't help myself here with the, the southbound, I feel she still was at the summer scents. Uh, mostly, I guess they mostly still summer. Kind of like your transitional type scents not really full blown in the fall yet uh here we have pure bliss um this really didn't feel to me too good Ugh. no uh i'm fortunately we don't have the scent notes here in front of me but uh right off the top uh you know there's no nice way to say this to me is uh what I call the old lady or grandma perfume. It just does not appeal to me at all. Uh, here we have a, a lavender laundry. And on cold, I really don't get much of the lavender. I get, to me, it was like that nice, fresh laundry clean sheet type smell. Here we have the seaside treats. Ah, boy. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe some caramel, popcorn, and mixed with something else. Can't quite put my finger on it. It's not bad. And here we have apple mango tango. Okay, on cold, I really don't get much of the apple. I get more, I definitely get like a mango. You get that little tainy sensation smell to it. Uh, maybe the apple will come out as it warms up, but on cold, I really don't get an apple on this. Uh, here we have uh, sticky s'mores. Uh, a little bit of, you get a little bit of the vanilla uh, and maybe a touch of graham cracker type scent. I'm not getting much of a chocolate off it. To me, it's almost more like a graham cracker than I do a chocolate. <clears throat> Here we have the fall flannel. Uh... 
I get a definitely a I almost want to say like a smoky wood vibe off of this. This smells very nice. I cannot wait to throw this in. Um, I'm trying my best to hold off to at least 1st of September to really dive in the fall. Especially since I'm trying to also get some stuff used up. Uh, here we have the smoky vanilla. Boy, the smokiness in this. Wow, it, it really does come off really good. Uh, but if you if you don't like anything smoky, you're not going to like this. I really don't think so. Uh, here we have the almond cookies. And definitely um, really get the almond note on this. I don't get, nothing really makes me think of a cookie though, but the almond itself really jumps out. Uh, and this was probably my favorite out of the ones I ordered out of this one. Count Chocula. It smells like, uh, reminds me of, you know, I'll be in that Count Chocolate cereal when I was a kid. And, uh, I, since we're talking Southbound, I'll show you one other thing real quick. This was from my original order of hers. Uh, I believe these were $5. This bag is called Basic Blenders. Uh, she didn't have many available, but uh, we had what was called a nut. She had what was a uh, nutmeg spice. These are probably about the size of a, a Yankee tart or maybe just a skosh bigger. And of course, here they are. Come in this nice little bag. So th these have been curing and curing for quite some time now. And here's what they look like. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're. It kind of reminds me, uh, in a way, of that, uh, when, oh gosh, had it when I was a kid. You used to get the, a big variety box of oatmeal. And this reminds me of, like, a brown and sugar type oatmeal smell. That if you remember, if you ever had them, that's exactly what it kind of reminds me of. And so that's it for the southbound. Let's go ahead and move on to this Empire box. So like I said, all I did was cut it open. I haven't even looked inside yet. Like I said, this is my very, very first order with them. So, dive in here and take a look, see what we get into. I don't even remember what I all ordered. So I'm just going to grab things out at random and see what we got here. Okay. Well, here we have, uh, oh, I love the label here. Lavender Smoke. I mean, this year, was, oh, gosh, I've gone on such a lavender kick in a way. Oh, I like this. Yeah, you definitely get a, a lavender, and it's the smokiness is not it's not intense, but it's just enough to let you know it's there. It, this is a really nice blend, and it smells like a nice uh, balance between the two. I really, yeah, I really like this. I might have to, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on maybe when their next restock date is. That's the funny thing is, I'm sitting here in Pennsylvania. They're all the way out there in Southern California. I get the email Wednesday. That it shipped. And here we are. Uh, yeah, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday I got the email. Here we are Saturday. It wasn't even supposed to be here to Monday. And it's our, and I just picked it up. I, I just walked in the door from the post office. So, here we have um, what they call the fog. Do we have scent notes on these? Uh, marshmallow... Fireside, salty sea air, 
Red Delicious Apple, and Toasted Marshmallow. Okay, it looks like here we got like, almost like a little diamond shape in a way. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking most of these are, like I said, most if not, are probably like a fall or even Halloween type scents. Uh, I'm guessing this is a free sample. Uh, Brazilian coffee. It is red wood and musk. Reminds me a little bit of a hazelnut coffee, to be honest with you. Might be a slight wood note in there. Okay. Here we have uh, these chunks of uh, gray days. And I'm sorry, I don't even remember what I paid for these off the top of my head. Oh, here we go, here we go. Maybe this will tell me. Nope, I probably ripped it. Okay. But these uh, gray days is, uh, let's see here, white woods, the Palo Santo, leather, vetiver, marshmallow, and amber. I definitely get the leather off of this. Fortunately, I'm not picking up on the Palo Santo. That's, I think that's why I ordered it. Uh, here we have another sample <laughs> of uh, Fruit Loop Strawberry Kiwi. Very strong strawberry scent. Camp Anawana. Okay, wow. How big that sucker is. That's... Oh my gosh. It looks like uh, two good-sized round waffles. That's probably... My gosh. I bet there's at least six uses out between these two. Minimum. Uh, you got toasted pine cone, tonka bean... Cedar wood, marshmallows, and woods. Okay, definitely get the pine. And I'm definitely, I can pick up a, a touch on the cedar as well. Here we have uh, Bewitched. Now, Bewitched is, oh my gosh, can I make that print any smaller? Uh, some, some type of wood, cinnamon, patchouli, velveteer, charred wood, and smoked berries and marshmallows. Well, I think I definitely get the patchouli and the uh, charred wood smell off of it. Wow. Uh, here we go. We go back to like what looks like two big round waffles. This is Vampire. Sweet lemon, cotton candy, sugar crystals. Snuggable laundry. Okay, get a touch of the lemon. You get the sweetness from by the sugar as well. Maybe a touch of laundry, but the um, 
the lemon, the sweet lemon, and the sugar is what stands out to me with this one. Here we have uh, Storybook Cottage. Hazelnut coffee. Roasted pecans. A hint of maple syrup. Pancakes and a hint with raspberry. Uh, definitely getting the maple. And the hazelnut off of this. That's what, that's what stands out on cold. Okay. Uh, here we have Into the Woods. Uh, this one I'm going to have to show you, actually. Uh, aged teak wood, white tea, vanilla, and woodland berries. This one melts. Uh, I think it's a, I think it's supposed to be a cat with a Halloween hat or, or a witch's hat. I'm sorry on top of it. It's what it makes me think of actually. Look at that. Really bright. What you want to smell too, buddy? Huh? There you. I don't think you can get like a berry, and I'm what I'm thinking is the teak wood off of this one. Uh, what else we got here? All right, I want to save this one for dead last, potentially. Right. Here we have what is called Raven's Brew. We got a hot coffee, cream, and leaves. And with pumpkin cream cheese roll. Here we have like a, well, supposed to be like a little bat. Uh, really also I'm getting is like uh, the coffee. Maybe a small hint of leaves there. I'm not really getting any, uh, I'm not getting the pumpkin cream at all on cold anyway. And here we have Autumn Cat. Which is Southern California winter Crushed sage mint, smoke, and lavender. Okay. Wow, I definitely get the lavender. And for I have the sage, maybe a, very lightly, but the lavender is what really is standing out to me in this. Which is just fine with. <clears throat> That's fine with me. I just I thought maybe sage and lavender would be really mixed good, but I don't like I said it's more lavender to me than anything. And here is Haddonfield. Now Haddonfield is dry leaves, tree bark, fire roasted marshmallows, and sweet pumpkin pastries. Okay, yeah, you definitely get the, I can get the bark, and what smells like a little bit of a hint of fire and leaves, and you definitely, um, really get the, the sweetness of it, too. I'll show you one. Yeah. Okay. 
So, um, that is everything, I believe. I wish I could. I want a part of that was got cut off during the shipping. <laughs> Sure looks like it did. But that's everything. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try to get this uploaded. Get started right now. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.